Дэвид Ас. Хвала вам, что и другий дан мы с Мазайдна. Да, и вот второй день, и у нас большая, ну, мне кажется, и теплая компания онлайн, и такая же теплая компания у нас офлайн. So we, are, we have great company online and offline, so this is really great. And uh, it's, uh, it's hard to combine these things online and offline, but uh, I feel that uh, we have uh, something in common. I mean, uh, we came here for some great ideas and that's why we are ready to overcome these, let's say, challenges. <laughs> so um, I just want to um, tell you what kind of program we have for today. Uh, we want um, uh, today, first we will have inspiration session and uh, we have great people who will inspire us. Uh, it will be Alexey Golubitsky. He is already in Zoom. Alexey, I will ask you to be the first one because I know that you have so much to tell us uh, because Alex uh, what I know is that Alexey works in He's director of traditional school, but he makes a lot of untraditional and great things. So I'm very curious. So how you can deal with all these things. Uh, I will try to inspire you as well. Uh, and uh, also we will have um, Alek Murmtsev from Metaversity. Uh, and then uh, we are going to have one session where we will show you how you can be a hub. So how can any one of us can be a hub? Uh, um, uh, I will just a little bit uh, translate into Montenegrin because we have uh, uh, our teenagers from Montenegrin school. Danas pokažat ćemo mi kao svaki od vas mogu bi biti hubom. Svaki od biznesa, svaki od čovjeka koji ima svoju ideju moglo bi da prevući na sebe neko interesovanje. So it will be really interesting. It means that thanks to this, let's say, meeting, any of us will have some guidelines uh, how we can build this networking and how we can connect people and so how and uh, each of these projects actually we will have three projects uh, these three projects were winners let's say uh, from yesterday as yesterday we had this uh, circle of acquaintance and these uh, three winners uh, today will be uh, the heads, the leaders of our session. And also we will, today we will share experience and I'm more than happy to present you uh, two more from Albania. And this is great project. Uh, this is a IT hub actually, a technological hub for teenagers. And uh, for, I, I know about this project from Armenia. And I was so surprised to see that uh, uh, from October, this project is in um, Albania now, and it just takes, for example, for us, it takes uh, several hours uh, by car to go there and to see this great story. And I want you to see this. So, я хочу, чтобы вы видели, что близо к нас у Албании ведь постой некий изузетный Проект, и вы можете да искористить и ту могучность и тай потенциал. So um, yes, today we have great day. I just want to wish you um, to have enough energy to live it till the end. <laughs> and um, uh, and now let's start immediately with the inspiration that comes from Alexey Globisky and his school. And uh, Alexey, please, you are very welcome. And I'm very curious how you manage to um, uh, to make such an unusual story in very usual circumstances. So, yes, I switch off my. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm uh, I saw already. Uh, I was uh, I, um, 
was 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 presented. Uh, so I am a headmaster of one of the school in the uh, that located in the uh, in the countryside in the smallest region of Russia, a uh, small region of Russia, Kaliningrad region, probably you know it, uh, in the center of Europe. And uh, in this part of program, this part of program called called inspiration session. So I should. Uh, inspire you, and I'll try to do. I'll try to do my best. Um, just a moment. I will start my presentation. And can, can you, uh, are you able to see presentation? And can you hear me well? Okay, okay. So we can we we could continue. Um, so uh, my uh, village is where uh, school is located, uh, called Isakova. So I will um, I will try to um, give you a brief introduction to our. Uh, ecosystem activities. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you are able to see with this kind of picture. Um, the apartment is uh, quite in good shape, but the entrance is not. Um, but sometimes everything is, is beautiful, to, even outside of the door. Uh, as uh, in this case, uh, uh, the flat for this person is not the home for this person is not the flat, but the city. Uh, but the responsibility of some schools doesn't end on their territory as well. I do believe that problems or development of surrounding schools locate the local communities and uh, mm, other institutions are my problem also because I would like to live and to work in good environment. I'm sure that best educational resources are located outside of the classroom. Mm, some of resources are not uh, we are not able to consume by ourselves, but to uh, uh, what we are able to feed uh, someone else. Uh, let me show you a short uh, video about it. this video uh, first time when I saw this video for the first time uh, I was really impressed that really there, there are some resources that uh, we, we are not able to eat by ourselves. Uh, in uh, our activities we are based on the idea of uh, Dewey. Uh, education not preparation for life education is life itself and uh, of course, some practical and theoretical background of Makarinka and uh, 
Vygotsky. Uh, often uh, you, uh, um, we describe uh, children as uh, an object, object of teaching, but not as a subject of activities. So, uh, be adult, we uh, uh, sometimes uh, demonstrate uh, uh, so called ageism. Um, we believe that uh, ed educational ecosystem should not be built for the children, but together with them. I uh, discovered a few, a few uh, years ago a new trend in management, uh, so-called uh, participatory budgeting, uh, when people directly involved in spending uh, municipal budget. And uh, last five years, so, you know, this uh, trend uh, came to um, educational system and in um, Czech Republic, uh, uh, Portugal, um, Brazil, United States, you are able to see uh, some schools uh, that uh, um, involve pupils and parents in budgeting process. And probably it will be a new trend um, for the future. Uh, at least I, I believe in it. Uh, let me show you several cases uh, about our school. Um, our students really like to, um, to use bicycle driving to school. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, there, is, uh, there is no infrastructure for it. And uh, they just decided to build Parking, um, parking for bicycle. Um, uh, second case um, uh, in in Russian <laughs> uh, in Russian culture is not allowed uh, to to sit on uh, on the uh, window sill, um, but at the same time in our school. Uh, our school is quite popular for the uh, com uh, community, so um, no, um, a lot of students uh, uh, try to um, uh, to go in our school. So uh, where I lack lack of sofas and corridor so, uh, on the our school, and uh, one of our students, Katya Ponomaryova. Um, De design it and install uh, special, so we, we could call it benches uh, on the uh, window sill. And uh, um, she showed us uh, the way to um, solve these problems, lack of uh, sofas in the corridor. Um, and uh, I know many school Many schools in Russia uh, follow uh, this idea already after 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 Katya. Um, uh, the next one is it possible to find uh, uh, two hundred thousand rubles in the uh, puddle of the school grounds. Of course, possible if you. Uh, uh, smart enough, young and brave, and uh, one of our um, students, one of our st st student, uh, Alexander Mitskich, um, uh, create special program for investigation. Why uh, this puzzle uh, uh, start to um, uh, disturb us in our territory. Uh, and after this investigation, uh, he uh, made project on how to solve it. And 
uh, uh, Coca-Cola company invest in this, in his project, and now uh, there is no uh, uh, bottle on uh, on our uh, on our ground uh, on our school yard. School, school yard. It was a problem, and now we have water for flowers. Uh, next example, in our student um, uh, investigate, investigated uh, uh, big stones in the forest. Uh, I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't been yet in Chernogoria, so I don't know about stones in your, uh, in your country, but uh, uh, for us it's uh, quite uh, rare when you when you are able to see in the forest uh, uh, such stones, and uh, um, he um, wrote to our now our governor, and uh, we stone now on the protection of government. So it's uh, uh, kind of a, um, re uh, reserve uh, territory. Uh, on the initiative of our student. And uh, it is the biggest one, so it's quite attractive for the tourists. And uh, many tourists um, usually are, um, are coming and uh, visiting with uh, stone, making uh, photos. Next one. Uh, is it possible? Uh, to not only um, learn ecology, but to do something. Uh, I'm sure that is possible. And um, uh, Dima, uh, in our, uh, in our uh, students of our school, um, he won all Russian competition and uh, help, helped the uh, school to save um 12 uh, percent of energy and we reinvested in other projects of our school children so now uh, after this project i was our school uh, our school is uh, quite uh, environmental friendly more environmentally friendly at least at least and uh, i there are a lot of uh, such projects that uh, our uh, students changing schools, school, um, surrounding area, region, uh, 5D cinema, uh, skate park, and, and many, many, many other projects. So our, uh, we uh, are really um, developing school, not for the children, but together with them. Uh, there are five levels of participation of uh, school children in our e uh, educational or learning ecosystem um, of our ideas, participate in implementation, lead the team, uh, participate in, um, in funding uh, money, not, on, not only to spend it, and uh, uh, some of them even uh, uh, even able to create working placement for other students, and uh, um, they not only changes the world, but they sometimes uh, even uh, getting first salary uh, in their life. Uh, ten uh, ten percent percent of uh, school uh, school budget uh, we. Uh, each year uh, allocated to the student's project. Uh, and how we really deal in, inside of the school, um, um, first of all, we say we have discussing with project on the school parliament 
uh, each uh, member of school par parliament uh, uh, representing uh, the uh, class and uh, the ideas we are collecting collecting uh, we are collecting it and uh, ranking ranking and uh, later decide uh, what is idea will be implemented uh, first uh, also uh, it is not necessary to go through the uh, parliament uh, some individual students initiative uh, can be supported um, directly and uh, for the all the students uh, we are able to uh, implement uh, the project in the curriculum a school and local community uh, uh, for me with uh, answer this question is quite important and uh, we uh, we have chosen the second one, second answer. So schools is a outpost of changes for the um, local community and um, regional, even regional community, sometimes even for the country. And uh, we do believe in the world as well, because when we, we are, when we are, try, uh, we are starting to communicate, for example, on this conference, we uh, together the change in the world um uh, just uh, uh, one brief brief example uh, our students came to my office and say that for the disabled students uh, everything is done in the school but nothing outside of the school and they create uh, they have uh, created uh, this map after a short investigation, uh, red line mean uh, no infrastructure at all. Yellow one uh, uh, also um, showing some um, obstacles and problems. And uh, um, uh, the students ca came to um, local authorities and presented, and now our um uh, roads and uh, entrances uh, entrances to the uh, to any um, um, homes are friendly to any person for, 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 uh, and um, uh, any person uh, including um, disabled uh, um, our our school um, uh, have created special place for fathers. It's difficult to bring fathers to school, but we found uh, we have found uh, an interesting idea for mothers, yeah, even for the grandmothers. Um, so we are um, point of support. We we are calling ourselves for the local communities. And uh, one example for the uh, learning, uh, educational, educational um, stuff. Um, of course, uh, previous slides also was about education, but it's more for the learning. Uh, principles of, of building learning ecosystem, uh, decentralization, collaboration and co-evolution, and uh, um, school connecting communities and networks. So we are network for networks. Um, I, um, in, at the end of my uh, short speech, I, 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 I'm going to present you a short description of one project, Burivka uh, River, a small river in our um, region, river of our future. Uh, the main idea was to bring different people together, scientists, teachers, students, uh, authorities, and uh, uh, to investigate um, basin of river and to change it in the proper way. 
um, the more environmental friendly uh, um, you know, way. And uh, we use exploring ecosystem. We, we, we are trying to explore ecosystem of ecosystem of river by learning ecosystem. On this picture, we uh, between schools divide basin of the river because no one able to uh, investigate uh, all this river. It's not so big river, but it's uh, quite big for uh, too big for one school. And uh, each school uh, investigate their parts. And uh, we, when we bring this result together, we as we uh, have seen entire picture of the river basin and uh, we got these results. Uh, this result was uh, recognized by on the very, very high level and the local authorities based on our results um, changed many things, uh, many things in, our, uh, in our region and uh, for example, created a huge treatment plant and uh, our changes and we uh continue we are we are continuing in this project uh, and now it's it's, it's uh, start to be international one and we uh open uh, we, we opened the educational center for the water project and uh, we are with uh, Sw swedish colleagues uh and um, i have to say that environmental ecosystem it's not on only a good thing it can, it can and building um, a learning ecosystem uh, also um, uh, can bring some risks. For example, a Ringelmann effect, and we should always think about it. Uh, So-called social laziness. Uh, when we we are working together, some of us uh, may start to uh, work not so hard. So we always have to uh, think about when we uh, build a uh, learning ecosystem. Uh, so I, uh, I do believe, uh, I'm sure that this conference will, um, um, will, uh, will uh, um, exactly uh, will um, get uh, necessary results and you will create uh, and develop a learning ecosystem and our school uh, is ready to be part of it good luck in building learning ecosystems Alexey, thank you so much. Uh, actually, uh, this is uh, what can inspire all of us. Uh, uh, and you know, now we were uh, now we were discussing: Is it possible to change the life uh, like this through the school? So you say yes. It's possible to change the life of the whole city and the whole community through the school. And uh, uh, it's even so. Um, I don't know, uh, tricky to say that through ordinary schools. So, but it means that this school is not ordinary in this case. So um, now is my turn. Alexey, thank you so much. And uh, you see, you can find Alexey uh, uh, through Facebook. You can uh, see that this person is open. So I suppose you have much more to tell us. So let's leave it for some intimate conversations, let's say. <laughs> so, uh, and now I just uh, will take um, three minutes uh, to inspire you and to entertain you a little bit because we have um, uh, like uh, uh, 18 teenagers that are a little bit bored uh, of Zoom, but uh, <laughs> let's continue. So um, 
uh, what inspires me, what inspires me, uh, such projects as Alexei Hans mentioned, or for example, Jakob Gecht was the first person who not just inspired me, but showed uh, how this uh, democratic uh, education can work. Uh, so, um, also, I was inspired by, by Sugata Mitra and uh, his uh, project so when he um, installed um, um, uh, cameras and uh, laptops and computers in India. And uh, he showed us and he showed uh, all people uh, how it can work, that kids, they don't need school, they don't need any instructions, they just need resource, so they just need this computer to go online and to have their own uh, researches and so on. So uh, how I would inspire you? Um, I would tell you that, for example, I'm a foreigner here in Montenegro uh, that came here 13 years ago, and now I feel Montenegro my home. Why? Because here, uh, you know, uh, I feel that uh, this uh, uh, connectedness, I feel this connectedness in this country because the doors are opened. Um, is, is in, uh, I'm sorry, so I will translate into Montenegrin because I see their faces that <laughs> they don't understand me quite well. Значит, я сам хотела да принесем вам ту идею, что наш свет я утворен. И я сам дошла у Цернагору 13 годы на предтога. И осечем Цернагору као мою землю. За что? За то, что видим, что овде, например, and what inspires me here in Montenegro. So we studied uh, laboratories of uh, future with local school. We started to do this laboratory with Savama for two months. We did two months for Savama. And we came to this idea and we came to the re realization of this idea just because uh, here we have people who feel, who can feel. So we found Lilia, uh, the teacher of the local school. Значит, мы смо дошли до той идеи за что? За то, что овде люди со отворены. И преко Лили дошли смо до вас. And so in this country, it's possible to find not the structure, but people. И значит, у овой земли, ты можешь донатишь не саму структуру, а ты можешь, можешь донатишь люди, с кем можешь да сараджуешь. And uh, like this, I see that we can uh, build the network. So uh, here we try not to find organizations, let's say, we try to find people. And these people are really open. And for example, yesterday we had a guy from Porto Montenegro that uh, was in a team and who is ready to co cooperate with us. I know one guy from Dukli who is also ready to support us. And uh, uh, even among your parents are active uh, people who are ready to be our networking. И, значит, вещь смо нашли люди и из неких изузетных проекта, кое су спремны да вас поддерживают и ваши родители такоже. And so, uh, uh, for me, this country inspires me. And yes, luckily, I live here in Montenegro and I invite you also, our great speakers, to come here and to find the way how we can cooperate because the country is young and the country is small. And for us, this is the resource how we can uh, not just um, build something new, but uh, it seems and it feels that we can do it very fast. Just we need right people because we are already in right place and in right time. И значит мы смо веќе нашли добро место и сад морамо да најдеме добри луѓи, прави луѓи и да правиме прави проекти. So that is, uh, now they are awake. So Alek, uh, uh, our audience is ready to listen to you. And uh, uh, yes, let's um, continue our online session. And if you need, if you need a translator, 
само да кажете. So, Олег, you are welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Can you hear me? Хвала лепа. Thank you very much for inspiration. Uh, yeah, your region is uh, really wonderful and excellent. I, I've been in your region in some Balkan countries and was inspired of your nature, people, culture, and it's really relative to our Russian culture. Uh, I'll switch to my presentation. Um, but even in uh, case I want to speak some warm, uh, tell more warm words uh, to you and your participants. Uh, but I have not so uh, long time for my speech, and I'll start. Uh, thank you to Alexei for his really exciting, really inspiring, inspiring uh, story, uh, some really practical story uh, of his school uh, in Kaliningrad. And uh, I'll try to inspire you with some uh, speech, uh, both uh, conceptual and practical, in a tool meaning, in methodological meaning, uh, because new knowledge, new understandings, especially if we, we can uh, implement it right now, uh, also often uh, very inspiring. Uh, and uh, uh, I know that today we are going to uh, develop, to design uh, um, learning ecosystem hub uh, uh, in Montenegro, in your place, uh, local hub, uh, and maybe wider, uh, some international mode. Uh, so I hope that uh, my speech will be useful and inspiring uh, to all of, uh, for all of participants too. And uh, uh, the question is how to weigh, how to weave, uh, how to co-weave ecosystems uh, uh, educational and not only educational, and I'll make a focus on this difference. Uh, and it will be, I hope, it will be a practical recommendation. Uh, sh short, maybe repeating of yesterday's speech, uh, really brief. Uh, I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia, Metaversity, Social Practical and Educational Community. And I will not uh, read all these uh, things about what we are creating in the world and so on. Uh, you have this uh, project card in, in chat. Uh, but for me, it's important to say that uh, during our uh, last seven years path uh, through these educational issues, uh, challenges, uh, and a lot of activity, uh, our project and our um, partners uh, moved through several uh, stages. Uh, first two years, we, we uh, were focused most on uh, educational uh, part. We uh, teach and learned. We teach uh, uh, new specialists, new actors for alternative uh, education in Russia and not only in Russia, we also took part in Global Education Futures events and all, even was in uh, Catalyze team of Global Education Futures with Pavel Luksha and uh, a lot of uh, uh, other uh, wonderful uh, change makers. Uh, then we shifted to uh, working in some social and social technical so-called uh, area, uh, more about uh, partnership uh, network and uh, mutual uh, collaborative projects, because we understood at that moment that uh, as we figure it out, it, it's impossible to create, to grow uh, separately educational ecosystem, it should be wider. Uh, and uh, now we are on, and so also we uh, have some uh, loss on this step because we uh, should uh, diminish uh, our educational process, our student groups, uh, because uh, we have not so many forces and people to do both things. things. And now we have this returning circle uh, a kind of spiral. Now we are uh, trying to uh, make uh, stronger both wings. Uh, this um, social technical about communities and partnerships and uh, uh, ecosystemical educational um, part. Uh, 
uh, and uh, I think it's enough for this introduction of, of, of the story. And I'll jump to the questions and instruments, uh, how to answer, how to weave this uh, educational, not only educational ecosystem, learning ecosystem uh, and other. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, where to start? Uh, what is the center of the ecosystem? Uh, we could ask uh, this question and we see a part of some ecosystem, maybe some uh, natural landscape. Uh, and where is this center? And uh, uh, especially when we are speaking about uh, some human uh, ecosystems in the city or in some uh, area of the city, uh, uh, we, in our rush activity, often lose uh, this idea that there is no uh, one center in some environment, in some really ecosystemical uh, structures and systems. Uh, we could say that center is everywhere. It depends on uh, your point of view and your point of action. Uh, in the same uh, moment, you are not the center. If you are doing something in an ecosystem, you are not. Uh, if you are a change maker, you are not uh, the main hierarchical top or uh, somebody who is uh, main not in hierarchical or some other ways. Uh, and at the same moment, you are in the center because if you are acting, uh, you are a part of life, uh, a part of. Uh, uh, change producing, uh, changes producing in, in this uh, uh, world, in this ecosystem, and uh, uh, everywhere in any natural environment, natural ecosystems, uh, we could find uh, life. So uh, we could say that the life as a process is uh, one uh, variant of us for what is in the center. But it's not uh, the only one and the real one. But we could uh, look like this uh, from this uh, from the side of life of a uh, life process. For example, like in uh, the speech of Alex Alexei, life of school of school community, uh, real people and teachers. And in this case, uh, uh, we should observe uh, who is participants, who is important actors, and what uh, are the pros processes and synchronizations, uh, uh, the life cycles of uh, this emergency of uh, ecosystem. And uh, uh, of course, uh, ecosystem uh, also not only educational, because as you know uh, from natural ecosystems, it uh, contain uh, the life of some beings in general. It's not only uh, learning part or not only feeding part or hunting or communicating. Uh, we live in some environment. Uh, our uh, uh, lives as a process or our, uh, the lives of our communities as a process uh, immersed uh, inside this uh, ecosystemical surrounding. Uh, it means uh, that uh, socio-technical, educational, human ecosystems uh, should be a kind of image of complex human world uh, and should uh, consist from uh, different areas uh, and spheres, uh, similar as uh, some countries or cities. And uh, uh, now I'll try to figure out some uh, important actors, places, playgrounds that are uh, from our point of view, uh, as from the point of view of uh, university and uh, our partners, uh, uh, basing on our experience and uh, some uh, advantages and falls. Uh, uh, what is these areas and what is uh, at the moment uh, the most important actors and uh, uh, places and uh, this uh, grounds, playgrounds inside these areas. Uh, of course, we'll speak uh, about some governance sphere, self-management and coordination, uh, because we are speaking about horizontal, so it's not just uh, usual government. 
some more complicated uh, multi-stakeholder uh, uh, situation. Uh, of course, we have some ground, some real producing and activity. Uh, uh, we should have some sphere of uh, cognition, generation of knowledge, research, uh, and generation of senses, of meanings. And of course, uh, the life produce culture and living culture and uh, is uh, sustainable because of some cultural patterns and communication as a nervous system, as a connection. Uh, so we have to uh, figure out uh, different points in all these uh, four spheres. This list and this uh, draft of a system uh, is not uh, final. It's not, I will not list all the actors in these spheres, but I, I'll try to highlight the most important, uh, in our opinion, uh, at the moment. Uh, and I hope uh, that in your case, it also will be useful to figure out what parts should we found as a hub, uh, uh, as a hub, first of all, and connect with, with them. Uh, let me start from the uh, producing an activity sphere. And we highlighted uh, for from educational focus of view that we have to find some sandboxes, some places where we and uh, other participants of the ecosystem could uh, produce and prototype uh, producing some of some technical bio, eco, IT, and other uh, devices, staffs, processes, and projects. Uh, uh, and uh, we could try to do something and we could produce something uh, really uh, useful in these uh, places and these playgrounds. Uh, also, uh, if we are uh, creating uh, something in a systemical way, we have to have uh, sources of uh, uh, energy, money, uh, some some material things, so we have to find or grow uh, some foundations or resource centers. Uh, also, uh, for example, as this conference, we have to uh, find and uh, create uh, support um, some dialogue playgrounds. Uh, it could be local or uh, international. But uh, these uh, playgrounds for the dialogue with, dif with different actors inside uh, our local ecosystem or outside between different actors that will uh, appear on this uh, map uh, right now, uh, or some governance, for example, uh, this event that your major came to your conference yesterday, it's a great thing for you as a geological uh, playground. And uh, we have to focus on finding and uh, supporting these geological playgrounds. If we're speaking about generation of knowledge and sense, uh, of course, we are producing uh, and creating uh, together a new way of being, a new image of future and new prototype of future. So we have to find some uh, new things, new meanings, and new approaches and instruments. And uh, these deep uh, research, uh, researching groups should be in connect with our hub. Uh, also, we have a lot of things uh, from reality, from our past and uh, now, uh, contemporary things. Uh, and we should observe them and uh, uh, these uh, groups and projects uh, of monitoring and mapping and dashboarding of uh, reality uh, connected with us is also an important part of uh, ecosystem that we have to be in touch. Uh, and uh, you see that some uh, lines are cross-sected with other, uh, for example, this one, visionaries and strategies. They are a bit between uh, generation sphere and self-management, self-governance uh, sphere. Uh, and these visionaries who, who produce new conception, new images of future, uh, they create these uh, lighting houses for us uh, and for other. Uh, also, uh, important actor that should be in touch. Uh, 
and if you are jump uh, to this complicated and interesting sphere of horizontal management of self management uh, in local way uh, I think, first of all, in educational mode, we should speak about navigator centers. And Lika today will say more about uh, uh, one of the models of uh, School of Navigators. And uh, these navigators, they are connectors between uh, studying people, between um, developing projects, uh, growing projects, and uh, educational and, uh, and educational abilities. Uh, so it's a really important uh, thing to connect them with this monitoring and mapping centers because uh, they produce uh, maps uh, through which they could navigate some other projects, peoples and groups. And uh, of course, uh, we uh, have to connect with some uh, local issues and local decision making through uh, some self-government groups, uh, the bodies of self-government government in local and cross-local meaning. And uh, uh, in sphere of uh, communication and culture, we have to produce culture, we have to save uh, our new patterns, our uh, stories of success, uh, success stories, our best tracks, and not only in uh, left side brain mode, uh, also in some uh, metaphorical way, uh, and uh, uh, but uh, also in uh, left side mode uh, because uh, our Methodists or Packers, somebody who could. Uh, save our experience uh, for the future steps uh, really important and they have to have uh, uh, the points of connection with the world and with uh, our community other parts of this ecosystem uh, so they have to create and support uh, we have to create and support uh, this broadcast platform in different ways online offline and they are quite close to dialogical playgrounds, but have a bit uh, different functionality and uh, purpose. I have, uh, I think, uh, not long time for uh, finalizing. Uh, and of course, uh, you all ask, and various communities and schools and some uh, projects that prototyping, they are not in the center, but uh, in any cross section. It could be a prototyping uh, playground uh, as a school or a research center or some uh, fab lab as a producing, prototyping uh, uh, an experimental playground. And they are really should be connected with different actors uh, I've listed. And uh, the last, uh, the second part of uh, the meaning of the list, uh, the last but not the least, sorry, is about synchronicity. Because, of course, we could have a lot of actors, uh, but if we haven't uh, this breathe of life, this uh, complicated uh, co weaving uh, rhythms of uh, uh, processes with some uh, peaks and uh, moments of silence. Uh, we couldn't uh, be stable in live mode. Uh, and it means that we have to connect our rhythms. Uh, uh, nature is breathing in synchronicity. And we know that shared rhythms is uh, the best way to lead uh, joint action. Uh, and uh, our uh, previous community tribes knew this well. You know all these uh, tribal dances uh, in uh, connected rhythms. Uh, they're really a driver without a leader uh, and connector uh, without an hierarchy, hierarchy in some complicated actions. And uh, here I briefly explain, uh, pr um, advise you uh, some uh, variant of possible cycle, uh, each uh, actor could have his own cycle similar to this, but it's important that all the ecos ecosystem uh, should have 
uh, like a seasons, some uh, uh, cross-sected uh, uh, rhythms and cycles. And uh, uh, this one is similar to the project cycle in Dragon Dreaming mode or uh, Cold uh, Educational cycle, uh, but a bit focused on the ecosystemical uh, processes. Uh, and I'll just uh, list uh, these uh, stages of this cycle, uh, and we, maybe we in further session could discuss it uh, more in more details. Of course, we have uh, to dream uh, in the beginning of the cycle of the life uh, of our ecosystem or project or partnership. Uh, it's really could be the cycles of different lengths. It should be a one month project cycle or five years of uh, ecosystem emergency cycle, and they are both co weaved inside each other. Uh, the second part uh, is observation and research, and it's about uh, the contemporary and uh, the previous step. Uh, then we are uh, going to planning and agreements, uh, and of course, uh, uh, we do it. Uh, for better action in uh, uh, realization part and we uh, really often uh, lost the second uh, the last one part uh, celebration and reflection where we could make our new resilience or make new sustainability through uh, saving this uh, new cultural and, and community partners uh, and partnership partners uh, and uh, I'll show this uh, picture one more time because uh, different actors have uh, more loud voice. You see this color, uh, coincidence. it's not coincidence. Uh, uh, some colors are the same because uh, I said that each actor have his own cycles, but in general ecosystemical cycles, uh, they have uh, some specific, for example, uh, in dreaming uh, and observation part, uh, this uh, circle of generation, knowledge uh, and sense actors are more important. And you see this similarity. I think you'll have this presentation after and you could uh, make uh, these parallels in actors and rhythm, rhythms by your own. And uh, now I'm finalizing my speech. Thank you for your time and attention and hope to work uh, with you in further steps of uh, uh, co -ecosystem, ecosystem hub co-weaving. And I hope this speech will be useful too uh, for your today work. Thank you, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Alec. You didn't hear applause, applause. Here. But I feel it. Hvala. Hvala drugi. <laughs> And thank you also, um, Nadezhda and Alexei. Uh, we will uh, use the inspiration we have from your session for the next interactive session. And to announce this, I invite uh, Lika, please. OK, thank you so much. Uh, I'll say a couple of words on uh, how we will work now the next one hour and a half. Uh, yesterday, uh, we had a kind of interactive session, so you are rather skillful already. <laughs> yeah, you know what to do. And it will be a similar one, but it will have some another content. Yesterday, we talked about the ecosystem as a whole. What should we develop? Yeah, and sh what should we stress on in the region as a whole? in Montenegro as a whole. And now we should imagine and draw an image of a certain educational hub, of a certain educational project, yes, or organization, which can be a kind of catalyzer 
of all these processes, of all these actions that we uh, projected yesterday. Yes, and so the question is, if speaking about a certain hub, a certain organization, uh, what key values and principles it should bear in it, yeah? What uh, key protocols, I mean some rules, governance principles and so on and so forth, uh, yeah, it should follow. What kind of practices and activities it should include? What forms, I mean pedagogical forms, and what activities and what learning directions in means of content it should focus on? Yes, and uh, what kind, and if, and then, if analyzing all this, um, what kind of key competences it will develop in people? Yeah, and so it, it will be a collective thinking session as it was yesterday's, and we will move uh, stage by stage, step by step from values to protocols and practices because protocols and practices should translate values should uh, i mean yeah should be based on values yeah and then we should just analytically go to competences if we have such protocols and such practices so what competences we shall develop in people in students in all the team and then we can just go through the competence list and see, oh, okay, these competences are good, but also we want to develop some other competences, which are not mentioned here. And if we want to develop some other competences, what practices and principles should we add to the practices and principles and protocols more? So now I will draw a kind of picture for it offline. Uh, participants, online participants already have their tables yeah, structured <laughs> and the moderators will give um, the tables to the participants as it was yesterday's. So now we have a kind of five minute break to prepare for the session, yeah, to arrange the places here and to arrange the places online, yeah, as, as you did it yesterday. Uh, I asked ask our team to help those uh, who were not presenting on the session yesterday to help them just to, to just orient themselves. Uh, a five minutes break, and then uh, I'll go online and give and divide the online groups into English speaking and Russian speaking as it was yesterday's and give you the links to the tables where you should work. Okay. 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 Okay.